Okay, today we're visiting the Philippine Islands. Look at these. These are pretty. Two of them together. This P1. And look how it was stamped by the post office with just these circles. Very different. There's some really nice and rare ones in this video here. So let's go right to the beginning. Here we have a two. Very nice. And we have right here a four. And there's another four right beside it. Of course, that one has the OB on it. But look at the ink. The ink between these two are very different. This one's more, this is a rich burgundy. And this is a rather, kind of a red, really, in a way. But take a look at both of them. I know if you're a stamp collector, an expert, you'll see one's a little wider and shorter in length. That one's a wider and shorter than this one, even though they're both fours, both the same pictures, pretty much the same design. You can see some of the difference. Okay, and right here we have a six, nice deep purple. And we have an eight, rather unusual one. Very nice. And right here we have a ten. I'm gonna move that up. Help hold the page here. So don't just close up on you. I only have two hands. Okay, this is 16. That's in black and white. This is 16. In green. And it's 16. More an olive color. A little bit different in the design. Then look at this one. Very unique 12. I like that one, huh? Again, with the three rings, that gives you a time frame of when the stamp was uh, published. Also, where it was stamped, too. Very unique. It's a brown, but in different shades. Okay, and right underneath it, you have a bright yellow 20. Look at that. Very different. Then here we have a 26. A30, got two of those. That one there is a modern one, 50 plus 5. And we have the two we brought to you at the very beginning, the P1. And we have a 20. We have a couple of Commonwealth ones, the twos, and we have a few of the sixes here, there's two of them, peek around underneath to see that that stamp is all good, as you can see, beautiful. have a bird that's just hollering at that bird feeder. I don't know if you can hear them. And we have a 10. Oh, 
he left. <laughs> I was just going to swing the video his way. <laughs> he decided, oh no lady, you're not doing that to me today. Okay, now, I'm going to show you the ones that are on this page here. Some more of the Philippine Islands. This is where I think we're getting into some rare ones. This one here I have not seen before. 1898 to 99. Now that's rare. Very beautiful stamp. Nice condition. Okay, and across the way we have a five. Did not print out so good in the picture. Or it's seen its better days. One or the other. Okay, let's go to some more. Maybe rare. Look at this. A one-eighth. A one-eighth. Isn't that something? That's a nice one. Now, if you like that one eighth, here we have another one eighth. Then we go to the one fourth. Then we go down here to a one. A two. Another two. A two and four eighths. When they say two and a half. Interesting, isn't it? Two and four eighths instead of two and a half. Different. Here's another two and four eighths. And a three. All right. I hope you've enjoyed visiting the Philippines with me through some of the old and rare postage stamps. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more as we travel around the world through the old and rare postage stamps. Just so nice to see what other countries have. All right, bye-bye now. Be sure to share this video with other stamp collectors, all right? Bye-bye now. Okay, here we are today visiting Norway and seeing what they have for some good old stamps. This one I think is very nice. I like this one. It has a lot of details. Gives you an awful lot right there. Very pretty. Look at that. To be able to make the plate to make the stamp and have all the details of even the chairs. Look at that. So defined. That is artwork at its best. You know, it wasn't just take a picture and there you go. Back then they had to make the plates for it. That is very detailed. Perfection for sure. And as you can see, it's 1814 to 1914. So it's a good old one. All right, let me take you through all that we have here. First, we have this 80. Look at that. And we have this 25. 1647 to 1947. And this one here. 1919, 30. Cool. 
and of course the beautiful one we just showed you all the lovely details and we have a 20 here all very different and we have a 10 I'm not sure the years of these ones they're really Simple but unique in its own way. Different, that's for sure. And we have some that we see quite often. This one here. A 40. Yeah, roosters up. There's a 50. And here we have a 35. And a 20. Look at that. Neat little house, isn't it? Really cool. Okay, then over here we have a 1. A 2. 200. A one, and we have a forty five here, twenty five. Oh, I don't know if I got that one up there, sixty. Then twenty five. Then we get down to these little ones here. We have a 20, just the crown and the bullhorn. Another 20, then 10, a 7, a 5. Another five. I'm going to go down to this style that was very popular. They made a lot of these ones here. And we have a five in brown, 14, 10, a 15, a 20, 25. And a 30. A 35. Another 25. And this one here. A 3. I think that's the lowest one I have is a 3. Neat. Okay, and then this 20 here. and a 15. All right. So our most popular one here is this one right here. For me anyhow. Because I like all the details of this design. Very beautiful. Nicely framed and everything. Beautiful picture. All right. Hope you've enjoyed visiting Norway. Stay tuned for more. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And if you wish, you may always fan fund me. That's that little I in the upper right hand corner. And that'll allow me to get out there, find some more of these great finds, and bring them right to you in video form. Alright, bye bye now. Okay, here we have just a few Zanzibar postage stamps. These are just different. Uh, the only collection of these that I have. So let me bring them to you.
Look at this. This is a one. Very different kind of stance. Of course, I have no idea where Zanzibar is. Maybe that's what makes these stamps so unique for me to even see. Nice collection. Okay, then we have this one that's a three. Here we have a six and then a four. And then we have a 12. Aren't these different? Zanzibar. Beautiful. I mean, look how elegant the design around the portrait really is. Very nice. Love that. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Even though it's a short video, they're definitely worth viewing and sharing with others. So go ahead and share the video with other stamp collectors, stamp dealers, because they are different. All right. Bye-bye now. All right, here we are bringing you some of the old Victoria stamps. All right, here we go. Look at this one here, the one penny. It's even stamped Victoria right on it. Look at that. That's rather cool. Very different to see, that's for sure. And there's this tiny little one right here. That's a half penny. And it's a Victoria stamp. It's nice when I do the Victoria coins and everything and then it's like, wow. This is cool. All right, and this is a three. Three pence, Victoria three pence. This one I really haven't seen before at all. Look at the design of that. It's written postage on the inside underneath her. And it's all laid out. Nicely designed. Really a good size stamp too. Very pretty. All right, then we have this other one that is also stamped Victoria right on it. Look at that. It's a 1D. Now look at the two upper right hand corners. I think that's what makes this one very elegant and rare. Very nice. If you know the year of this one, by all means, leave it in a comment. Let the rest of us know. That is a really nice stamp. To have it also stamped Victoria, that's cool. To have that in my collection. Very nice. And then I have this one that's a two pence. Beautiful purple. Nicely shade. Very nice. I love all the design, you know, around the picture and everything that they do with some of the old stamps. Instead of the simpleness. They put a lot of details in all the design. Because, you know, these are plates. They're not just take a picture. So that's what makes these beautiful. And look at this one. Also a two pence. But differently designed than the other two pence. This is a stamp duty. Wow. Stamp duty. Well, that's different. I haven't seen one that said stamp duty. Two pence. Stamp duty. All right. Very nice. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. 
And by all means, share these videos with other stamp collectors. Let them see some of our history. Beautiful artwork. Historical artwork. Bye-bye now. Okay, today we're visiting Rhodesia. Look at that. What a beautiful stamp. You know, you look beyond the picture and stuff. And you see the giraffe and the elephants. A lot of nature right in there, huh? What a beautifully designed stamp. Adding a lot. This is artwork. This is historical artwork. Because back then, you know, it wasn't take a picture and put it on a stamp. They had to make plates for this. Very detailed. Look at that. All the very fine little dots and lines. A lot of work went into them. All right, let me show you some more that they have. Here we have a one half D. This is the British South Africa Company. And you have a one D. Then you have these other ones. Very different design. Look at the craftsmanship and the designing of this. There's a one penny. Then you have a two pence. A beautiful. Then you have a two and a half penny. Isn't that funny? The two is a pence, but the two and a half is penny. Look at that. It's beautiful. And then you have a four pence. Look how beautifully designed that is. Isn't that beautiful? Very nice. All right, so there's your four, two and a half, beautiful, two, and your one. All right, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more as we travel around the world looking at old and rare postage stamps. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, here we are today visiting some Netherlands stamps. So today, it's Netherlands. Here we have a one and a half, purple, one and a half, black, another Oh, that's a three. Okay, then we go to a one and a half purple, a two cent orange, two and a half cent green, and we have a three cent green, four cent blue. Now, what is this one? Well, this looks like a seven cents. Let's peek underneath. Seven and a half cents. Okay, it's a seven and a half cents. Uh, there you go, peek underneath here. Yeah. Okay, and then a forty cents. All right, then the style kind of changed. We went to this one here, a half cent. Isn't that beautiful? A one cent. A two cents. Wow. Then we have a two and a half. And another, whoops, that one's loose. 
get back in there. We've got two two and a half cent ones. And we change our pattern again. Here we have a two completely different design. And a four. And down here we have a 20. Very nice. But look at this one. It's a four. Look how different that is. Isn't that cool? Really like this one. Okay. And here we have a 12 and a half cent. A one cent. And a two and a half cent. Alright. Now out of all of these, this one I think is the most interesting one out of them all. Very interesting stamp. Different, that's for sure. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more as we travel around the world in old and rare postage stamps. I think this one's a rare one. Alright, bye-bye now. Okay, here we have some old Bayern stamps. Look at that. These are some of the nice ones. I love these. But let me show you all that we have here. Starting with this one here. A3 in brown. We have a 5 in green. The same man. And this one's kind of like a burgundy. Probably would be considered red. This one is a 10. And then we have a 20 in blue. And continuing with the same man. Right here is kind of like a brownish 30. And this one here is a 40. And this 15 here is rather small in size. A little bit smaller. This is a red one. And we have the three that we brought you at the very beginning. The blue is 30. Brown is 40. And the 20 is kind of like a burgundy look. Alright. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and by all means, Share this video with other stamp collectors. And be sure to stop me now. Bye bye now. Okay, today we're visiting Luxembourg. Alright, and checking out to see what stamps they have. These are really kind of special right here. But let me show you everything that we have here. Alright. Look at this. Beautiful, too. Very different in their design, aren't they? And we have a five. And right here we have a two. Look at that. Look at all the creativeness and the design of this stamp. 
very artistic. And back then they had to do plates, you know, it wasn't take a picture and that was that. They had to make the plates for this. Beautiful. And then we have it in five in green. And the design changed a little bit here. Here we have a 10 in red. A 12 and a half. I'm really amazed to see when they have halves and one eighth and seven eighths and stuff like that on them. Because how do you divide up a penny, you know? But these are not pennies. These are centimes. And then there he is with the 25. These are very beautiful stamps. And we get down to the ones we showed you at the beginning. Starting with the one. And we have one and three fourths. And then a two. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, as we travel around the world looking at old and rare poster stamps. All right. Be sure to share this with friends now. Bye-bye. Okay, today we're visiting Netherland Indies. This one here I found very amazing because you can definitely see the stamping of the post office nice and dark with the black. But the picture itself of the stamp is really not very recognizable. So I thought this was rather an interesting stamp for it to have been this way. It just didn't get printed right, but yet went out in circulation. So this one's a very unique one. But let me show you what else we have from the Netherlands Indies. Okay, starting with this one right here. Here's a one. Beautiful one. Love the design. I mean, it's all artwork, you know, when you look at that because, you know, they had to make the plates in order to make the stamp. It wasn't just take a picture and put it on. That's how things used to be done. Okay, then on this side here, we have this one here. Same picture, just different value. We have some that are really the simple type. There's the one cent in green. Then three cents. Kind of like a burgundy kind of look. Then we have the five cents in blue. And a two cents in brown. So we have one, two, three, and five on these. And we went a little bit more modern for the 15 cents, adding all the colors. Oh, look at this one. Whew, beautifully designed. Very nice. Stamps in good condition. And a twelve and a half. Right down here, we have a fifty cent one. Very different. And 
Okay, then we have a two cent one right here. A two and a half cent one. And underneath there's a five cent one. Okay, and then we're back to the one I brought to you at the very beginning that I thought was rather unique to see such printing of the stamp. But yet when it was stamped by the post office, that was done kind of in its regular form. You could really see the black of the stamp of the post office. But to have a printing stamps so unclear I thought was a little bit unusual to be put out in the public use. So if you know anything about this by all means leave it in a comment. Let us know why it's the way it is and I'll appreciate that for sure. So will the rest of my viewers. All right bye bye now. Okay, today we're visiting Queensland. Look at that. It's a one penny stamp. Isn't it beautiful? It's so elegantly designed. Very nice. We don't have too many stamps in this video, but they're definitely worth bringing to you. There's a one penny, and there's the two penny. Now this next one, this one I found very interesting and that's why I decided even though there was only a few, this needed it to be its own video. Look at this one. One half D, one half penny. If any of you know the year of this stamp, by all means please leave it in a comment. My curiosity has me on this one. It's just so beautiful, so different, something I haven't seen before. Definitely a lovely stamp. Definitely some history behind that. So if you know a little history, leave it in a comment and share with the rest of us. I'd appreciate that. Okay, and this is another one half, half penny. And then right here we have a two pence. Okay. Well, I think the interesting one in this video, you might agree with maybe that one be more interesting, but this is my interesting one for this video. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these, even though there was only a few. But they are very beautiful stamps. All right, be sure to share with other stamp collectors and be sure to become my friend. All right, bye-bye now. All right, today we're visiting Pakistan. Checking out to see what stamps they have in their history. So this is all like a history lesson. It's all artwork and they're really beautiful to look at. So here we go. We have this one here. Kind of neat. It's like the moon and the stars. All right. Let's check the rest of them out. Starting with this one here. Look at that. Beautiful mountainsides, huh? Get to see some of the land. And here's one. That one there is a two. Here we have the same picture in a five. Beautiful blue. Now we have this one in a ten. And 
I have this one, that's an R1. And here's a 50. Get to see some of the building. And of course the one we just brought to you at the very beginning here. And we have three that are the same. This one's 15. Kind of a pinkish purpley kind of look to it. A little harder to see in this color, but it really looks pretty. Get the reflection in the water. Makes it really nice. And we have it here in blue. You can see so much better. The pink one was 15. This blue one here is 25. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Right by the water. And then here we have 50. And we have this one here. It's a 15 in black and white. Look at the architectural building, huh? Ooh, real tall. Very nicely designed. Okay, then we have a 50 with an airplane flying off, taking off. I'm assuming with the plane, this is maybe uh, airmail. Beautiful stamp. Okay, one we see quite often here. There's a four. I do see that one quite often. So this one here, I think, will be my interesting one for this video. Even though the moon one's really pretty. That one we had right there. So, kind of between the two of them. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed visiting Pakistan. Some of their stamps in their history. Alright, be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll travel somewhere else on the next page. It's always nice to go and look and see what stamps other countries had. Let's see what their history was like. And they're beautiful artwork, they really are. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, today we're visiting Poland and showing you what they have for stamps. All right, first let's show you this one here. This is 25. It's a black and white portrait. Beautiful one. And we got these two both together. They're fives. Quite the design, isn't it? Okay, then we go down here. We have a 25. Very unique. It's like a double faces. Depending what side you look at it. Look at that. Very different, isn't it? Okay, and down here we have a 30. Beautiful horse. And another 30. And this one here, 1918 to 1933. A 30 stamp. We have a couple of these beautiful ones here. Can't quite see the number. There's a five. Might be just a five. 
and this one here is a 60. All right, and we have a few on the next page here. here. Look at that beautiful church. Very nice. And here we have a 10. And another 10. Different pictures. Both the green. But a different 10. Here we have a 20. Oh, that was the church one. Let's go down. Let's see, where are we now? Down here to this one. 25. Very different, huh? And here we have a 50. Here we have a little 50. This one's an older one. You can tell by the perforation around it. Very different. Okay, and here we have a 55. Okay. So that's all the stamps we have of Poland. We didn't have that many, but that's what we have. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend as we travel around the world through old and rare postage stamps. Bye-bye now. Okay, today we're visiting Tunis. We have some rather rare ones here. Look at this one. This one's really nice. Look at that. It's a 1F. And this had to go through the printing twice. Once for the burgundy going around and everything. And then for the center picture, it had to go back in. And some of them end up really valuable when the printing going back through a second time ends up upside down or something but of course that's not the case for this one this one's all the right side but look how beautiful that stamp is really nice all right let's take a look at some of the other old ones here look at this this is a one kind of in an olive color they had the simple colors, you know, before all the bright colors come out. So, this is one of the simple ones. This is a one. And here we have a two. Pretty much in the burgundy color. Doesn't quite show up so well. And in a more red. Look at that, now you can really see good on a three. Really nice. And then you have a 25. Okay, then the style kind of changed. We went to having some nice ladies. So here we have a 1C. And we have a two. One is kind of like an orange. I believe it might have been meant to be red. It's more orangey kind of look. Here's a 2C. Pretty much in a greenish tint to it. Like a deep green. 
Then we have a 3C, which is the black and white. Then another 3C that came out in blue. Changing the design a little bit. See the sides and everything? Design kind of change. The 3C and then the 5C. So these two designs kind of changed. And then of course the one we brought to you at the very beginning. This one right here. The one. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing you this video. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and share this video with other stamp collectors. Alright, bye bye now. Alright, today we're visiting Sar Valley. Look at that. What a beautiful stamp. Get to see some of the water and the buildings, everything all right there. Beautiful. And here we have a 40 cent one. Being able to see the architect of the buildings and stuff. Look how tall they were right by there. Nice. And then we have this one here, giving you a nice view of the land. The church and everything in there. This one's 50 cents. Now we also have a few other ones we want to bring to you. The Sierra Leon stamps. Look at that. A one half D postage and revenue stamp. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Really nice. Then we have a one D postage revenue. And a little bit bigger. This one here, at 1D. Look at that. You get to see how flat the land is and everything. Beautiful. It's always look beyond the picture and look and see. Oh, and then look at this one. 1833 to 1933. A one penny. That's a beautiful one, isn't it? All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more as we travel around the world looking at old and rare postage stamps. Bye-bye now.